Good morning, afternoon, and evening to you, everybody. Microbial Titan here with another exciting episode of Tech at Light. When we last left our daring, intrepid adventurer, Steve, he was braving the jungles of Titan Land in the Tech at Light world and building a treehouse. So, let's go ahead and get back to the action. Let's go ahead and make all this here in the planks. And then we're going to take this stack of planks. And we're going to make it into sticks. And let's go ahead and make a few more pieces of fence. What we're going to do is we're going to use this fence to build a roof on our home jungle wood home here so that we can keep all the rain and all the other stuff out and keep all the steves in. So let's go ahead and that there and we'll take our nope we did, don't want that because we can't place sticks take our fence post and go ahead and set them up a couple high and let's see gonna go ahead and try and make this a little bit better so we can go ahead and make a roof. The roof. The roof. Ah! The roof is on the treehouse. We don't need no shelter. Let it rain upon my head. to carefully, acrobatically walk the fence so we can go ahead and get our supports up here and parkour over to the other side and do our best not to fall because I'm sorry if I fell that would be hilarious. <laughs> I would just have to laugh at myself. So let's go ahead and throw this away. And tell you what, let's go ahead and make some half slabs out of that. And we're going to use those half slabs to make what we need to make our roof here. So we don't have to worry about anything else. Drop those there and those there. Do 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 do. All right. So that should be should be plenty. Let's place that one there. Perfect. And that should be a good enough start to go ahead and build off of so that we don't have to worry about messing up and doing this wrong. Let's back up to that one. Alright, that should be perfect. And we should be able to just run across all this. And place our slabs. Like a saw. So that we can mix a roof. So, does any know, anybody know what a dog's favorite part of a house is? 
dog's favorite part of the house is the roof. Because it's what keeps him dry. Oh man, I did that wrong. I sure did diddly did. I have to go back and fix that later. So, as you can tell, I don't really make everything symmetrical. I just kind of. I really don't have plans for the way I build either. I just kind of do it. That's pretty much the way I build anything, too. I try going off plans, just sometimes it just didn't go the way that I planned. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go two out. And I didn't leave any planks or anything really to build any scaffolding with. I don't think. So I don't think that I did it. So what we'll do. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, all right, and then one, two, three. We are going to, ah, perfect, cobble work. All right, and we'll go ahead and go up one more. And, let's see, let's swap out here, it would be really awesome if I actually have enough to do all this, but I don't think that I'm going to have enough, we'll try it. Wrong ones. All right, wrong, wrong part. So I'm gonna have to go down and grab all these half slabs here, and we should be just high enough. To where we can go ahead and do this here. That would be my last one. So we're going to need some more jungle wood. Hmm. That's what I was hoping it. Well, not quite what I was hoping to do. But parkour over to here. Ooh, took some damage on that one. Um, yeah, we're not going to make that without dying. So let's see if we can do... Nope. Nope. Didn't quite work. Okay. So we took some damage, but we still have some health left. So I think we'll survive. <coughs> so let's go ahead and... Oh, took more damage. Let's come over here to the other side of the jungle, grab a jungle wood tree with our trusty enchanted axe, so we can go ahead and make us some more planks, which will in turn give us some more half slabs, so we can go ahead and finish out this tree house, and maybe even make another one. Oh, I love enchanted tools. They chop trees so fast. 
and I do believe that I have a pair of shears that I can shear that sheep with. There we go. Let's go get the rest of our logs here. It's funny how they didn't completely despawn. And then we'll figure out a way back into our tree. Probably through the... I'm, I'm not going to try and parkour up that tree. It's just not going to happen. Or parkour over to that tree. So I think what we're going to do is just go over here to our trusty, rusty there we go trusty, rusty tree station and go ahead and eat us a piece of bread while we climb up catch us a couple of these now that we're close to the bed and go finish this Get me some ladders along the side of this, or not ladders, but um, you know what I mean, fences along the side of this, so I don't have to worry about falling off. So let's go and put that one there, that one there, and this one here. There we go. This will get us a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of slabs. And if you build, I found that if you build with slabs, you don't use near, or half slabs, you don't use near the materials that you do with the planks. So, whereas I'm filling this here all with one half slab, it would typically be one full slab, or one full plank, which is two half slabs. So, let's see here. Um, no, didn't think so. There's another game that I play on my phone. It's called Survival Craft. And you can actually take the leaves, put them in the crafting grid, and get, um, what are they called, um, saplings. So I figured I'd go and give it a shot, but it didn't work. So let's hope we're close enough to catch that. So we can go and fix our mistake here. And it... Looks like we're close enough to catch a couple of them, just not all of them. So let's go ahead and put these here. And get us some full planks out. Throw those back. Get that fence out. There we go. Just, well mostly like that side and we're gonna have to do it okay because I need these other two pieces of fence so let's see if I had my grappling hook from uh, superheroes unlimited my Batman's grappling hook this would be a whole lot easier. And I wouldn't have to worry about falling. But, unfortunately, I do not have that. Come on. There we go. Two, three. And cut me a hole. I seriously... Wow. I did not realize I seriously did that. 
So let's go ahead and put that back there. All right. So throw that away. Throw those there. There we go. That's what I was wanting to do. So now we have our roof. And we have our little tree house here. Now what we need to work on is over here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and place one half slab there. And since we have that one, we'll go ahead and cut all the rest of these leaves out. Because we don't need them now. We have everything in place that we need. Just that one half slab. And that one half slab, we can place what we want where we want. And build on however big or small we want. So it's going to be kind of a floating tree house for the most part. It's going to float right above. Our little canopy here. So let's go ahead and continue building on. Stretch it out a little bit. I may bring the bed over here at some point. I might go ahead and do that here in a minute. Just so I don't have to worry about where it is I'm going to sleep tonight. Which is kind of good that I have a bed in the game. Because I don't have one right now in real life. We went ahead and ditched most of our furniture in the move so we wouldn't have to drag it all with us. And since uh, I did most of the moving, I really didn't want to drag it all with us. And my sister-in-law is supposed to be helping us find some more because she is just that awesome. So, got to go meet my new boss today at my new job. I'm not going to say what it is. If I've mentioned it in a previous video, um, don't remind me. <laughs> not to sound rude or anything, but they don't want us talking about our uh, current position online or anything like that. Uh, for privacy matters and stuff like that. So, just so if I say I work with the public, for the public, and I'm just going to leave it at that. So, we have our second little tier finished here. That is a long, long drop. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this stack of 64 into planks, but we're going to take those planks and turn them to sticks so that we can go ahead and make some fencing. So I think I can keep this as... A little crafting room. And um, what I'll do with my other little landing there, I'll make a little bedroom out of it. I'm not quite sure if that's all that I want to do with it. But I think it'll be kind of fun. So, I hope.
hope everybody is doing okay. Don't really have much to talk about today, which is really not very unusual for me, really. I really don't talk about much in these videos. I just try to play and kind of show y'all, you know, the way that I do things, because I know everybody's got their own way of doing stuff. Not that mine's any better than anybody else's. But I tend to like it. I'm working on getting over that sinus infection I had in the last video. Like I said, it never fails. I start a new job and I get sick. It happened when I was truck driving. And that was a miserable couple weeks out on the road with my trainers. Because I just did not feel good at all. But it's, it's really happened just about everywhere that I've worked at. I end up getting sick. I don't, don't get anybody else sick. It's always something that's non-contagious. Or non-communicable. If you want to use the professional term for it. But it just never fails. I always get sick when I start a new job. So I just think it's funny. It's just... <coughs> I guess it's just a higher power's way of telling me, you know, don't mess up <laughs> and don't call in too much. Because this kind of stuff happens to everybody and it happens all the time. So, if you happen to not believe in a higher power, I am definitely not going to push my beliefs on you. Um, if you do not believe in a higher power, um, I do recommend it. Because uh, it kind of gives you something to look forward to when you pass away because you know every, everybody has those thoughts from time to time maybe not you know where am I going to go when I die but ooh, that okay wow okay I thought that something bad was going to happen there but if you go to if you go through life without believing in anything really makes for a boring life and you just really have nothing to look forward to so up to you as I said I'm not gonna push my beliefs on anybody I just like I don't like people trying to push their beliefs on me but it's just just my thoughts try and share those from time to time kind of a public service announcement if you will so, alright it is night time so let's go ahead and get this bed get up y'all and get to sleep let's go to the new bedroom down here I think I'm going to put it yeah it's a good spot right here right in the middle to make sure that I don't fall out of the tree and we'll go ahead and take some torches place them around here so we make sure this place is good and lit up at night because I darn sure don't want anything spawning in here and remember with these half slabs you want to place them if you want to put stuff on them you want to place them towards the top of the block the block that you're placing them up against rather than the bottom part because if you look and you listen real close I can't place a torch there so and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that throw my stack back there stick some steps there and let's go ahead and put our torches 
here rather than on the ground. Let's go and get rid of that one, place it there, put one there and there. I want to kind of make it look a little bit nice, you know? Don't want to make it look like a slob, did it? There and there. And there and there. Alrighty. So, there's that. We now have our semi staircase up to the top. I think. Yeah, I think I'll do it. I think I can go ahead and make a few steps. I think 12 ought to do it. I don't think I have more than 12 steps. So let's go ahead and run right back down here. I love having these fences here. They make it where I don't fall off. And what we'll do is knock it out and place it. And remember with the stairs, just, well, kind of like the half slabs, you want to make sure that if you want them right side up, you're aiming towards the bottom half of the block in front of you rather than the top half. Because if you go for the top half, they're going to end up upside down, and then that's a decoration and not a step. So and it keeps you from having to break them and replace them, break them, replace them. So just make sure you aim towards the bottom part of the block, and you'll be good to go. So, we now have our stairs in, we have our guard, our armrests, our armrails, we have a couple of different levels to our tree house. I like the way those armrails really don't have a top to them, I think that's kind of cool. So... Oh, we completely... Oh, no, we still have 18 fences left. And since this is fairly square, we could actually do that there. And... Nope, I missed that. Do that there. this up here hmm kinda don't like that yeah I think I'll take that out now let's do that oh that didn't work ooh that was a close one can't place that. Ooh, that was not good at all. So, let's go ahead and shimmy down the side of our other tree here. Oh, too soon. Back to our tree station. Come on. There we go. Pick up our cobble along the way. And let's go ahead and try this one more time. Now what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about actually making a mine shaft straight down the center. Not gonna let 
me do it. So let's go ahead and swap those out real fast. Straight down the center of that tree there. And by going straight down the center of it, do it. <gasps> Creeper. Wow, okay, I'm gonna die real soon. I don't start regening some health here. There. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, at least I'm right here. Alright, we're going to take some damage there. Come down here, take a little bit more, but we can get all our stuff back. Whew. I'm so, 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 so glad that I decided to be smart and put a bed in here. So, let's make sure we've got all our stuff. Our pickaxes, our sword, our axe. Bread goes there, other stuff goes there. Let's go with that pickaxe. Got our shovel, shears, and our bread. And our torches. So yeah, it looks like we've got everything. Alright. Anyway, so what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by death uh, is making our uh, mine shaft straight down the middle of this tree. And just putting ladders in it, and this way. We really don't even have to touch the ground because the tree is one, two, three wide. And if we go to our axe, but we hold shift the entire time we chop on it here, shift again. There we go. Then what we can do is go ahead and put that there. And dunk, dunk. now we are kind of trapped inside the tree, but we don't really have to worry about that. Because we can cut our way straight out through the middle. And I don't believe that there actually is enough room inside this tree for anything to spawn. So, what we'll do is we'll cut a hole straight up through the top. Don't forget to hold shift. And instead of those, we will use these to climb our way out and back up to our little tree house. And this way, we know exactly where the center of that tree is. So we can more easily get onto the center and not have to worry about messing things up and digging down the wrong spot. Or if I were to use my hand rather than my pickaxe, or not pickaxe, but my axe axe, I assure that I don't use tree capitator and take the whole thing down on accident. No, I want that there. I don't want that there. Come on. There we go. Now, what we do.
do is we just take our half slabs and we'll put one right on top All right. and that should be the base for everything we do as far as this roof goes and I'll just add another one there <coughs> just kind of make it like we did it on purpose Perfect. There, there. All right. I think I'm just going to do the outline right now. Worry about the rest of it later. Just for the interest of time, because I believe I've been recording this for about 25 minutes. That there, yeah, it just doesn't quite look right. So I'll do that. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish all this up. you can hear it, but I still have a little bit of wheezing left over from my lovely infection. But that's part of still having your tonsils at in your mid-30s. and being sick so always no fun at all all right guys yeah I think that looks really really good still like that piece in the center there but other than that I think that looks really really good so all right well next time we will work our way over to the new mine so we can mine for ores and materials and stuff um, go ahead and throw a chest down here while I'm talking so I can kinda get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory that I don't really need but want to keep I'm a hoarder I love to hold on to stuff that I might use just in case. Um, that's just me. Alright, so clear our inventory out a little bit. Now, come over here to the bedroom and do my little outro. So, Remember, guys, I am Microbial Titan. If you like this episode, leave a like. If you want to post a comment, please post a comment. And if you want to see more Tech It, Tech It Light, Superheroes Unlimited, and Big Dig episodes, um, feel free to subscribe for updates on when I get those posted. And from all of us here at Microbial Titan Family Gaming, and from Steve the Intrepid Explorer, I would like to say bye.